hey everyone Colby here and of course after my fire nest 20 with only on comments the only natural video that i should be following up in my channel will be an armor gear guide of course armor gear is my go-to and common whenever someone uh, suggests a good champion uh, to invest in i tell, I'll tell him do you have an armor gear and then there we go there's the armor gear level 60 i have him with a relentless set and of course uh two mix sets and i'll explain why why is armor gear so good we're gonna go through uh all of his skills masteries and of course the gear that i have on him i know the gear is not um you know reasonable for a new player but of course this can be uh switched around you can use any mix sets on him as long as you go for that 100 percent critical rate guys 100 percent critical rate as much critical damage as you can uh, i know it's a very hard stat to get but and also critical rate and also speed and also high defense i know all these are difficult for a new player but these are uh, ideal for an end game account so uh defense it's at 2000 ideally it would have more but i'm working on it so defense at 2000 speed 179 the higher the closer to 200 the better actually critical rate at 104 percent anything above 100 is great critical damage at 230 percent guys and accuracy at 273 anything above 200 works but i wanted to be on the safe side and i went with an accuracy primary uh, chest plate that also has very nice sub stats as you can see all my gear uh, is focused on critical rate critical damage and of course getting speed as well and this is why uh, i also have a relentless set because i've got that 18 percent extra chance to get uh, an extra turn uh, for army gear and you're gonna see why it's so good and if it procs for the video it's gonna be even better I'm not sure so skills guys repost attacks one enemy decrease the terminator by 30 percent if this attack is critical damage inflicted is proportional to defense so the higher defense you have the better but the main thing to focus about this guys it's a it's a skill that has a hundred percent chance to apply a 30 percent decreased terminator reduction this is crazy good for bosses and as you if you've probably seen my previous videos on spider and also on fire knight he is the king of controlling that spider in terms of terminator control and also uh he has another skill called lay to rest this is a max hp skill so guys if you didn't know there's a few champions in the game that apply damage based on the max hp of the enemy uh namely the most important ones are cold heart royal guard and, and septimus Armiger is in that group as well he does damage based on max hp and also enemy skill by the skill cannot be revived this is so good uh, for a champion that is an uncommon of course this has a two turn cooldown so imagine that relentless set proking all the time and uh, my Armiger gets extra turns he either does more of his a1 and reduces terminator because according to his ai he will calculate if the best response would be to go for that terminator reduction or for just straight out damage if the target has his terminator already depleted then he will go for lay to rest but that's i think when the target is at above 30 percent terminator that's when he goes for that a1 instead of a2 so this is why i really like uh, relentless set on him you get much faster times when you've got this but of course a more free to play uh, account will have a speed set accuracy sets um, maybe defense sets anything that gets you that 200 accuracy as much speed as possible and of course 100 percent critical rate if all you need is just terminator control then just go for that 100 percent critical rate don't care about the critical damage go for 100 percent critical rate go for those critical rate gloves instead of critical damage as i have critical damage makes it so much harder to get a critical rate to 100 percent but six star five star critical gloves give you 50 and 60 percent accordingly which is way easier for you to reach that 100 percent let's go to the mastery the last thing uh, left standing here so uh you can't see it but i went for helm smasher that extra little bit of damage when you ignore defense on the bosses when you use a2 or a1 it's much more beneficial but if you're going for just terminator control uh which i should have done instead uh, for my previous videos i should have gone for war master that would have allowed me to just do a ton more extra damage i do not care about my critical damage since army gear was pretty much doing his a1 uh, the whole time so war master just does a percentage of the max hp for the boss and and he doesn't care about you having more critical damage so this is the 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 masteries i have on him 
very basic masteries i did not go for any cycle of violence where we on death i knew what i wanted him to do and then i went for that extra support basically going for extra accuracy and then evil eye that was it i could have gone for lore of steel but since i didn't have any sets that would match on this armiger i just went for evil eye for that first first attack term reduction it only applies the first time after that it's it's basically gone so yeah support tree uh, i could have gone defensive tree for that counter attack but he was not getting attacked so that would have been uh you know another you know worthless tree to go so the support tree for that extra bit of um accuracy is much much better so enough with the talk let's go and look at my boy army gear so guys this is my normal spider 20 team so think of this team imagine uh what this team does to spider of course does it in about 20 20 seconds 18 16 depends really but what if we didn't have a cold heart there for that terminator control we need terminator control uh to kill the spider so let's just put in army gear i explain how much how important that terminator control is i know all these champions are not feasible for everyone but i just want to show how strong a 30 percent decrease in terminator is to a boss like the spider even if you do not have a cold heart so uh look at venus there just applying weekend defense down make this run a bit faster for the showcase look at that extra turn now he went for a2 with 1 million and 69,000. guys 1 million 69,000 versus the the royal guards that did uh 1.7 i mean what else do you need from an uncommon 1.94 i think that was his a1 and then the a2 uh let's look at this again you you guys might might have missed that huge crit there from army gear but let's go again uh, and also the target is not weak so if he was weak army gear would have done even more damage there so a1 a2s from royal guard there 2.2 million and actually now my army gear should be able to just uh do his a2 maybe if we get no he went for a1 here so he saw that the terminator is way higher and he went for a1 instead but uh the spider is gonna die just from uh the hp burns there we go 993,000 this time so i mean <laughs> Armor gear is just fantastic. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, of course, you need a defense down and weaken for that huge number. But even with a defense down, again, you would have a huge number. So let's go to another um, fight where Terminator can be controlled. The Fire Knight. We've got a tournament going on right now. I'm not going to show you this team. But instead, I'm going to show you... Yeah, Armor gear with the two cold hearts. I think this will still work um we will have excessive amounts of terminator control but uh you know because two cold hearts uh, both have terminator control but uh also lisandro has terminator control and then armor gear is just gonna be the one that does uh you know his a1 and a2 all the time uh and lisandro there boosting everyone's speed is just gonna make this run faster for this showcase um also see how strong that relentless is of course on every champion that has uh low cooldowns the relentless set is fantastic he gains an extra turn the, the cooldown is reduced by one and he can go again with his a2 or a3 if the champion has more um, than one extra skill so army gear just having his a2 with a two turn cooldown makes the relentless such a fantastic set and I cannot take it off him is just crazy good and i love him at level 60. you should definitely go for a champion like that if you're missing some terminator control and you're having trouble with the dungeons uh like the fire knight and the spider the ice column and and uh, dragon are totally different because dragon of course is magic so he's gonna have extra trouble there and also the dragon cannot be um terminator control and also the ice golem can be terminator control but he will um do such huge damage to his aoe that you're gonna need to have a good defensive team in there and also you cannot completely control him through terminator reduction even if you got like five terminator reduction champions so let's get this let's get this shield down just to showcase uh the strength of this army gear i hope he doesn't die yeah okay the one cold heart died this makes it actually an even better showcase hopefully hopefully i don't have to reset this and there we go one turn look at that terminator control and now we should be able to completely control this uh boss look at that 98k 
we don't have weekend and defense down just yet Armiger goes for his A1 to keep that boss's Terminator down to zero. And A2 there, 250,000. That's great. So he works so good with Elisandra also because she completely de depletes the Terminator and gives Armiger a chance to go for that A2 clear. There we go. He's going to gain an extra turn. He went for the Terminator reduction again. As I said, if the boss is at about more than 30% Terminator, he's going to go for for a1 and now he he went for that a2 he went for the kill and that huge number just completely destroyed the fire knight so we got a not not bad shield a uh, rare but not bad shield so this is why i love army gear guys and he can also be used for the faction wars i cannot showcase him right now but he can be used in, in the sacred order if you are having issues there of course you're gonna need to build him way more tanky not much critical damage but terminator reduction uh, and speed so critical rate and speed would be so good on him so guys this was my army gear video if you like this video of course leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and if there's another uncommon champion that you would like me to feature any one of these six uncommon champions that i have at level 60 you can comment down below if you want me to feature another one i'll try and make it work as long as he's you know re in reasonable um you know reasonable to take to 60 i mean i even have a system militant to 60 but I, I love taking this you know not so much used champions uh to their max level and showcasing their maximum potential and this is armiger's maximum potential he's he belongs in uh dungeons 20 and he definitely uh claims his spot in there in the you know on the five members that you have in the team he does not get carried he carries so uh thanks a lot guys see ya